Apparently Axe is being banned. Of course. He doesn't need to play Axe. He can play Slardar or something. Hey, Charlie. Honestly, how are you divine frauding? Yeah, it's a good question. Nah, you played really well on that Chaos Knight game. Oh, shit! It's fucking frauding draft. Pog, chat. Yeah. You better leave my Twitch chat, man. Cheating. Ten seconds remaining. It's literally his first time drafting. Let's see what he does. Yeah. Let's see. First ban axe, literally. Because <laughs> Dan was literally screaming it. Team ban. Super noodles, just ban axe, ban axe, ban axe. I mean, Midnight Axe has almost ban. never done badly. Like, even if it loses the game, it's not because of him. So, yeah. fair it's enough. Because he's, you know, falls through the face player. You jump on them before they jump on you, you always win the fight. You're more likely to win a fight if you get the engage, unless the enemy team has an amazing counter initiation. Which is usually yeah, not like right. or something. Yeah, and then they're like really waiting. We don't for it. have, yeah, we. I don't think we ever have counter initiation in this, in these analysis. To use counter initiation properly, counter initiation means you're sort of waiting for the initiation Ten to happen and you're ready for it. What yeah. we have is, yeah. as they go in on us and then we panic cast everything and it's too late. That's what we have. Yeah, That's not yeah, counter initiation. Yeah. That, that is what. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I always I always tell my team to fucking run in. Mm -hmm. Same. Well, that's why I like playing with you because when we play the off lane, we just go in. And I know you're going to yeah, go in, so I go kill people. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> it's much better that way. No one plays oh, man, those Jakiro, boss rules. I fucking hate Jakiro so Ten much. Oh, shit. Why? Remember when Jakiro was being slow. banned against Drekken every time? First ban. Yeah. I hate playing him because he's slow. I hate playing against him because his damage is ridiculous. It's pretty league. high. Over uh, Damage over time on him is pretty insane, yeah. I really hate and, picking uh, Slark into like, Jakiro because people go, oh, but you purged hit with Dark Pact and then you make your entire draft as a pos 1 about countering a pos 5? That doesn't make sense to me, right? You can't just <laughs> yeah. counter a pos 5. <laughs> okay, oh, Earth Spirit. I like it. I like it. That's that's a better first pick than Spectre. Dude, that's fucking Roids. And now Spectre, yeah? Spectre next pick. It's going to happen. Come on. All right, so Roids 4, Doge 1, Midnight 3... Ollie 2, Brex 4. Okay. Ten I like Earth Spirit though. I think that's nice. Nice hero. Um, if you play it well, it's just absolutely insane. Five loads of damage, remaining. loads of crowd control. Good at ganking, good at escaping. Very tanky. I mean, he's got everything apart from he's not ranged. And he runs yeah. out of remnants sometimes. <laughs> As a laning stage can be kind of complicated. Yes. Ideally, you want to like jump people level 1 as soon as you see them. But... You know, most of the times you'll die if you jump in like that. It's the easiest win of my life if that's a Roids uh, Earth, Earth Spirit. Roids is he's good at the game now, right? He he became a good player, but I don't know how much Earth Spirit he kept playing. Uh, I think he plays a decent Earth Spirit. Okay. I, I wouldn't say a good Earth Spirit. It's, it's not going to be like his immortal one. standard, but he's still good at it. Yeah, he still, you know, he still hits his goals, but... Disruptor, is that against... I mean, that's both supports picked already. So I think... I don't know if Frauding's falling into the noob trap of uh, just drafting the pos fives, like playing as if you're playing all pick ranked. Yeah. The Dyer aren't gonna, oh, the Dyer, they realized I mean, two supports have been picked. So they go with supports as well. So actually, we've seen all the supports already. All right, better see a fucking Drow ban right now. Yeah. Karen even knows. Oh, and look, the draw was nice. insane. We're getting so much better at drafting. It's like a whole BVGS group. Like we're learning stuff, learning to spot the obvious. Mm. Oh yeah, Roids was like a was you know gold delivery service to the enemy team. That's how he played Earth Spirit. Just roll straight past everyone, straight into tier. Or, or he'd go in at people under the tier one or tier two, at like six minutes in, and you'd be like, no, that's not going to happen. Phantom Assassin, I okay. A PA ban. How come I just heard... It's what? a good ban. Friends, yeah, what, what did I just hear? Someone's worked out how to voice line while in the draft. Nice. Oh, you know you can do that? Do you know how to do that? Yeah, it doesn't work when I do it. Like, you can still remaining. press your hotkey for the chat wheel, but it never worked for me. Five seconds I don't think it works for spectators. No, it doesn't work for us. We can't do it, definitely. What you do is you don't press on the chat, Radiant like team. on the right-hand side of the chat. Press there. Okay. And that's how you do it. Ah, cool. Cheers. Now I can spam voice lines. I'm going to miss some of the voice lines, actually. That's that's the worst thing about the Battle Pass ending. Why is no one banning offlaners? Come on, there's going to be one offlaner that you don't want to play against. No, just ban cores. 
that's all people do. I mean, faceless void always goes, right? Oh, he's still in. Never mind. Well, Radiant are gonna fucking pick at it. No. They don't. Well, Radiant don't want to pick it into Vend, I don't think. Or maybe you do anyway. I mean, it's still a really good hero. It's when Void is good yeah, at like, even pro level. Two oh. people. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. I think uh, Jakiro Void is good enough. Disruptor and Jakiro team pick. are have oh, a lot of aim nice. team fight, but I fairly like easy to be taken down. Batrider is an interesting ban. I don't know yeah. why you'd go. Batrider specifically, do, like I don't know anyone who plays Batrider. I mean, I've played a bit of Batrider, but like, I have we even we've seen it yeah. in in-house definitely. I have literally never seen Batrider in an in-house. Well, Ten all I know we because Karen and I checked this a long time ago. Every single hero was picked in an in-house. Every single Five at least once. Remaining. So there was a Batrider at some point, but I have no idea who played it. Maybe there was a. It was Miles probably Batrider? in the. It was probably in the earlier Mimi days. In the Mimi days, I like yeah, Batrider. Where people didn't and... try hard every pick. When I played Batman, yeah, Batman in my last really game, I played it really badly and still won. What the fuck is this? They banned Batrider and pick Legion? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're, they're counting the theoretical Batrider that can't be picked anymore. <laughs> Countering themselves. Okay. I mean, Legion... What we've seen in some of these games recently is Legion struggle to get dual wins. They need someone to combo with Legion. Okay, there's Mars. Mars is not someone you want to duel, right? Because you just... Bulwark, keep you safe. Um, Disruptor can send Legion away. Uh, Jakira can put the stun on top of Legion. You know, it's yeah. I think it's gonna be hard for Legion to find easy jewels unless they finally combine it with some damage. So maybe invoke. I think it's gonna be exciting to see if Gabe is gonna hit his spells remaining. or not. <laughs> yeah. Everyone wants Monkey King. It's never picked. Like we barely ever see a Monkey King. A Monkey King against Mars. Monkey King has any melee is fine, even Mars, I think. Nah. But do you want Monkey nah. King in the game? I don't think he's good against Mars. No? N no, you don't want Monkey King against fucking Jokiro, Disruptor, Mars. Yeah, against Jokiro, it's a bit sad, actually. And yeah, Disruptor, even Disruptor, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's sad. But what do you if pick you as a plus to one? Jump there? in. Terrorblade. Mm. Juggernaut. Juggernaut, pretty good. I don't know. Spin out of Jokiro yeah, stuff, spin out of Disruptor stuff. Radiant team pick. Arc Warden. Hmm. Okay. Arc Warden. I just feel like their team's a bit dysfunctional. I mean, Arc Warden Venge. If that's a lane together, that is a really brutal lane to have to play against. But at the I same think time, that's, uh, Arc uh, Arc Mid. Okay. Ten seconds remaining. I think. I mean, are you just trying Unless to trigger a really down? good matchup? Is that, is that what we're doing? Five seconds remaining. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Because if Dan is triggered, then. He's gonna be like, oh, we lost. And I mean, like, it's minute one. He's gonna be like, we lost. It's just because of that, like, 3 a.m. in house from all those years ago. Like, so many years ago that happened. <laughs> he, dude, he, every time we play against Ark and Pops and he dies once, and he's always like, we Is lost. <laughs> oh, dear. It's not even like a rage we lost, it's just like a serious we lost, you know? Everyone's fucking disturbed. Well, he needs to sort himself out. Because Arc Warden, I know he became quite meta at one point, but I don't feel like he's that uncountable. You can deal with an Arc Warden. You could. But they have countered, they have a band of the good heroes. Like PL's band, PA's band. I don't, I don't know how you get on top of this arc. You can pick Storm, but Storm is gonna get ass fucked by Venge, Earth Spirit. Really? Legion. Oh, Earth Spirit and Legion, yeah, they're a bit of a problem. I don't feel like Venge is that bad for Storm, but Earth Spirit definitely is quite annoying. Like, Earth Spirit Legion takes a talent at level 15 or 20, ends up with a six Drop. second silence. Yeah. Jug's alright. Nah, Venge is just good against the uh, good with like saving. That's his mm -hmm. job against Storm. Sit behind your core and press R. Yeah, I, I like the Juggernaut pick. It, again, I think it just works. Alright man, I'm looking at this game and I think if this goes over 25 minutes, then Dyer will. Five seconds remaining. I like Dyer's late game combo and if the Legion manages to get some dual damage as well, to become Friends, enough of a threat a that she doesn't have to rely on her team to get kills, then I think the Dyer are in the position to win. Because what I'm thinking is... Fucking Venge, Aura, Arc Warden, Hitting Tower. Yep, with extra range. How are range. they going to jump this Arc Warden? Yeah, like, how are they going to jump him? 
Well, I feel like the Radiant do have amazing team fight though, because you've got Disrupt Troll and all of Jakiro's stun and all, and into the Mars. I mean, that's it's got wombo combo potential. Whereas the Dire don't have that, they've got only like individual pickoffs, which they can do pretty effectively. Like they can engage and one shot someone no problem. But you know, it's it's a little they bit. They should have fucking picked should have picked Tide again on Radiant. I really? Think. For even more team fight? Because it's uh it's Gabe's best hero, and yeah, I think stunning them all is much better than stunning one. If it's one of your best Mars. heroes and you needed an engager, Five another team fight hero, then yeah, you might as well. Yeah, I agree. I'm not sure what other plus three would maybe really work here. I don't like Centaur uh, that much in this game. Struggle against Arc Warden and Venge and stuff. Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm not feeling these drafts at all. Baden might be alright. Oh, he's banned instantly. Okay, never mind. Not a surprise, I guess. Play against Brex, the fucking oh, I know what we were supposed to be doing. We were supposed to be getting everyone to send me their player cams Five using OBS remaining. Ninja, and I was going to set up uh, cams on stream. It's going to be If I hyped. do that, I'm, I'm going to have to send you a, a, just a picture of me, because my fucking you don't laptop have a cam. is too bad. No, I do have a cam. My laptop is just super bad. I'm going to try and do it. I'm so busy this week, and I've also got the um, CEA casting on Saturday. That might just be too much to handle, but I definitely want to get it done at some point because I think it's going to be uh, it's going to be fun. Yeah, it, I don't think it's going to take too, too much sorting. Maybe what we'll do is I'll try it with one person. Like maybe Karen, we can have a go. You can just send me like I'll try to set the link up with you and me, and then all I need is all the players to submit me their links, and then with their webcams on, and I could just swap between it with some buttons on my stream deck. I think it could be funny. <laughs> like, I want to see someone die funny, in, yeah. in mid and then press the button, see their face. <laughs> it, everyone would have to consent. Co-op into Legion and Earth Spirit. Co-op is not great against Arc Warden either, to be honest. Oh, man. Yeah, it would have been. It would have been good. Uh, Co-op is also not great against Earth's, Earth Spirit, Ten Legion, or ready. Arc Warden. Even Venge is annoying for Co-op, like... I feel like Cop's gonna pick strike life dealer, please. Necrophos is not the pick into Queen of Pain, but I guess it. Oh, you do not want to lay Necrophos into Cop. That is suicide. It's so difficult for Necrophos. Oh my god, just pick fucking Life Stealer. It's free game if for Life Stealer. Why is it free game for Life Stealer? What the fuck are they gonna do against Life Stealer? Who? Jug is gonna Omni him, right? Jug is gonna Omni the uh, Life Stealer. You infest while in Omni. Yes, if you have something to infest into. Yeah, but you're gonna fight with heroes. You're probably gonna be with the Legion commander. You just uh, infest the Legion. She gets she gets bonus health. She doesn't die. You come out. That rider what is was picked. What's gonna do here, man? Well, thanks to Karen for the stats. So Bat Rider was picked three times in the past only. So that's not a lot. And you know, we're actually um, Owen is trying to implement some um, filtering, so you can filter heroes, you can filter game length, you know, all sorts of stuff like that. So that could be really cool. Um, Necrophos, I like Necrophos <sighs> as a hero. I don't like Necrophos um, against Queen of Pain. That's the only thing. Like Necrophos yeah, will Queen struggle Pain, against bad. Queen of Pain. Yeah, very and bad. Jakiro, bad. It's tough against ne Disruptor. It's not great either. But maybe he'll do well. You never know. I mean, maybe you have safe lane Necrophos and you put Arc Warden mid. I would be tempted to do that. I do not want to lane Necrophos into Queen of Pain under any circumstance. It is a dreadful lane. Yeah, put him, put him on a side lane. Yeah, Hope yeah, yeah, buy yeah. Stick level one. Hope for the best. I mean, Quop just spam Shadow Strike on Necrophos and has higher base damage and the same attack range. Oh man, I hate the shit that Arc Warden does. You know how he distorts the hero behind him? Yeah, his you particle effects are. Fucking hate it. Pretty insane. I like Batrider, but I don't feel like anyone is like, oh, it was used to be Roy did a couple of games where he really popped off on Batrider. But not many yeah, people are that good If you know how to play Batrider. that hero, if you know how to play that hero, he's so good mid, because he's like Void Spirit, you he's know? Good at, he's running around, kill he's everyone. He's good at everything. He's so good at farming as well. You like stack a camp six times and you just, or the whole jungle, you take it in one Firefly. You meta. I like seeing Queen of Pain. It's a hero who used to be picked and banned a lot, but then kind of fell out after the small nerfs to Shadow Strike. But I'm a big fan of Quop, my most played hero, and I like I like it against Necrophos. 
He's not dealing with Necrophos though. So yeah, they, they oh, did dude. exactly what they, people are getting smarter. They put safe lane Necrophos and mid lane Arkwood. They know what they're doing. I like this. We're, we're finally not purposefully laning badly for once. We're actually using our brains. Is Brex playing Jakiro? Uh, no, Brex is playing Vengeful Spirit. Royds is on Earth Spirit, which apparently is free MMR, but we'll go find out. It's, yeah, it's interesting right. hero Look at uh, Frauding trying to do the ring strat. He's queued up a ring of health already. Oh, yeah. I mean, if you want to get Battle Fury, you want to get it. Um, you don't want to be buying two <laughs> two Wraith Bands, a Wand and Vase Bands. I'm only surprised you oh, have a Oh, there's a spin. Frauding just immediately commits a spin. Now, you know what? This is another lane combo, which used to really, really annoy me. And I used to complain about it all the time. Okay, like press the attack, disruptor? dispels, disrupt, disruptors, thunder strike. Yet, Karen and I watched so many times where Legion was like, oh, my support's dying to, to thunder strike? No, it's fine. They'll be fine. I'm like, just dispel it. It literally instantly no, removes it. I think it. Uh, most of those games were me playing four, and I don't ask for a dispel because I just buy shit on the region. You could, but I mean, it literally instantly counts as it. When disruptor starts getting higher ranks of the spell, you want to be dispelling it. Especially when your support yeah. is about to die from it. But they're like, nah. We're good. I don't know, man. I just, I'll just let my core do whatever he wants. But I want him to go in when I tell him to go in. True. Look at the damage going on now. So Midnight's used press the attack, but Royds has Thunderstrike on him. So I don't know why he pressed the attack. Maybe just to trade right clicks? Nice oh use of spin. God. And Frodo gets the kill. <laughs> Royds has already died. XD. Oh, no. Noodles, no. <laughs> Please. <laughs> oh, the tilt has begun already. I mean, Disruptor's mana costs, um, it costs 130 mana. And Legion's actually got the same mana pool level 1 as Disruptor. Like, or very close. So, I feel like it's okay to use Press the Attack a little bit. I guess Noodles has got oh, clarities shit. as well. I just noticed this Juju playing offlane. Yeah? He only plays mid, right? Does he? Okay, well, I mean, I play mid and offlane, so I guess maybe that's a natural progression for mid players. Or you go into core, really, don't you? Yeah. Okay, a bit of right clicking on Brex. He's still only level 1 on the Radiant. They really need to pick up level 2. You want to get that Liquid Fire for that free harassment. It doesn't do a lot of damage. 60 magic damage, but I mean, it's free, right? So, can't complain. Yeah, there you go. Midnight's more. using it. Okay, but he does need some mana. Maybe get a, a Bassy in that lane. I think uh, boy, uh, Earth, Earth Spirit goes by Bassy. And yeah, someone needs Bassy. Man. It's 1.4 mana regen. It's insane. I mean, it used to give armor and damage and stuff. Now it's just pure mana regen. But it's yeah, a lot of mana buys regen. A, he buys a veil first item. Look um, at the damage Juju's spirit. doing onto, into Doidge. Doidge delicious. I really like Orb of Venom on Mars. I just feel like you attack so much, you have so much attack range, you might as well get Orb of Venom. Mm. Just hit them, like constantly click them and follow them. Yeah, Ollie's doing okay what mid. What is Brex trying to do? I don't know. Just trying to annoy the plus four, I guess. Vengeance Sora has a ridiculous radius, but actually he's not quite getting the neck first in it. That was perfect. <laughs> nice wall. Oh, going on Doidge. He's slowed. A lot of damage. Brex doesn't really have any stun. So yeah, that's the kill. Wow, that nice. spit did a lot of damage. Really aggressive play from the Radiant. Brex has no stun, so can't really do much. Look at Royds, he's going on noodles. Oh, Royds and Ban exchanging blows. He doesn't hit very hard. Only 58 yeah, with his attacks. You gotta love some dudes exchanging some blows. Oh yeah, a polite. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he's gonna get the... Is Royds gonna get the crit? Honestly. Oh, that's bad. Oh, goodbye. Nope, he manages just to get out this time. Sal from Ollie. Whoa, oh, instant cancer from that. Sal. No, nice. he had the fucking shadow strike on him. Why did he sell there? It got cancelled anyway <sighs> by, by Nat. Blinked in and you scream of pain. It is 140 mana, but if you can cancel a Sal, not too bad. Very what early one from Nat as well, actually. What's he trying to beat a play, actually? Oh, it's Ollie sending something in. Ollie's sending in a very early bottle. Well, second item bottle. Bottle on Arc. Yeah, Ollie likes Bottle, and I feel like against Quop, you might need it. Yeah, I guess. 
Yeah, Brex is fine. Man, I would just buy not? Like, two sets of tangos. Oh, I maybe thought you could have speared Brex there, okay. Maybe not frauding, you're pretty low. Gotta be careful when fighting his weak. Holy shit. Oh, Brex, he's dead. Bam, look at the damage. So much damage. Fucking from... Juju, man. God, he's just hit here in the trees. Oh, nice. He knows. Didn't see that. He's already got a bracer. Can you play Mars without Sol Ring after the mana buffs, or is it still a bit difficult? No, no, no. He's still on it. Still I, I feel like you need Sol Ring on him, right? No matter what. Even though they made yeah. the mana better. Your mana, pool is, mana pool is very shit. They're actually going to kill... Oh, th literally 3 HP. Was it 2 even? Oh, my God. Gabe, you are... <laughs> Playing, you know, dancing with death there. Living on the edge. My and channel's not getting get banned. No one's gonna ban Belial. Yeah, if you ban me, you're racist. That's how it works. Oh yeah, true. And Twitch aren't racist, so. Oh. What? We found a kill bot. It's because Roy's went back. Spells on Disruptor. Yeah, I don't think Disruptor even use spells. Oh, you just spin, on just spin, okay. He is going for early battle fury, I think. He sent out um is that treads and wraith band? Oh treads jug, okay. I phase jug is better for fighting, but treads jug is better for farming and making the most out of your ult. So yeah. I've built treads plenty of times on Juggernaut before when I really want to capitalize okay. on it. Looks like we're going on noodles and he is finally gonna go down. Yep. And Royds lets oh, Midnight get Roy the kill. Lets him have the kill. Yeah, that's a that's a good player right there, because he knew that the kill was guaranteed. Jay doesn't steal it. I mean, are you trying to say we're all bad for stealing kills? Well, I'm a type of player who doesn't care if you oh, take a shit. kill. Oh shit, Nat just blinked in, Nat just blinked in. Oh no. Oh, shit. And Ollie's like, well, welcome to my double flux spark race. <laughs> Enjoy your stay. Oh god. I mean, God damn it, Dan! Buy a fucking ward. You're just flaming Dan. He never buys doing? wards, man. Never <laughs> buys. Wards. I love the Belial. Uh, Belial <laughs> cast is just to flame everyone. <laughs> Seriously, you could buy ward while keeping from base. Put one ward here. Uh, does Arc Q stack? I think it does actually. Yeah, I think it does stack. I mean, I'm, oh, I might be making that up. For the love of God, but... fucking put a mid ward to watch the Juju. Room. Jesus just Christ. use God's rebuke. Oh, he's missed it now. He's done auto attack. He's quite low, actually. He might die here. Jakira yeah, they're gonna have to go back. Jakira might get a kill, though. Yeah, he's actually gonna kill Brex. <laughs> That's the best you could hope. Did you see, We're going did for you a gank on that. To, this is gonna be big. Did you see Brex trying to attack him, but he was slowed by the liquid fires. Yeah, he, but then he didn't get the attack off. He cancelled it. <laughs> Royce is here. Here we go. Silence. Oh, Silence into stun. Long, that's a lot of damage to Nat, but Nat can just blink into the creep wave, so that's gonna be absolutely fine. So how long is the silence? Only starts two, two seconds, seconds and the stun is 0 0.4 and the slow is 2.5. So even if you add those together, it's not a lot. And Ollie doesn't have any crowd control of his own apart from a, a minor slow. Yeah. I think this game relies completely on Dan, Mars, and Frauding. Yes. Yeah. I'm sure Frauding will fucking... This game. We're going on that again. Back real hard. Don't think we can kill him. Nah, he's not gonna die unless he blinks in. Ollie has maxed out Spark Wraith, so 310 damage on a four second cooldown. He pops his ult to look for the rune. Double damage rune bot, and Roids is just gonna secure it. Nat's not gonna go for it, is he? Oh, we're doing a lot of damage now. Nat. Nat actually blinks on the rune! That is not the cool Nat. Oh, never mind. Actually manages to find Roids. Okay, I was wrong. The Where's double Ollie? damage rune doing a lot of damage. Main Ollie is in the top lane, but we missed the fight here. Arena was used. Juju will find Brex, but then Deutsche Delicious will kill Gabe. Okay, so, so a lot of fight happened down there. As soon as oh, Nat's blinked in. He's got the double damage. He's clicking Ollie. Ollie's like, now nah, see, I'm going back to base. You don't have your ult, so don't kill me. But big plays from that. Oh, he made a lot the, out of that double damage rune. They took the stack top. Oh, Deutsche iron, Delicious. So. He got a last hit there. God's Rebuke. Just use God's Rebuke, man. Oh, he wants to save his mana for the spear. Oh, no. Wand was used. No Ghost Shroud, though, on the Necrophos. I guess you don't want to sacrifice good. an early point. Yeah. Broding, does he have his ult? He does, but no mana. He is going Battle Fury. I don't think, uh, I don't think going Ghost Shroud is a good idea against Mars and Jakiro. I guess there's a lot of magic damage, yeah. A lot of yeah. magic damage. That is true. I just think about it because pop the wand, but... 
then you've got to be really careful. Yeah. He's so slow, so hard to dodge the spear. That's a lot of damage going on to him now. Frauding at it for server, right? Oh, GG. Cool. Drop it, drop the Omni Slash. Nice, Frauding, nice! <laughs> well, what happened? I didn't see oh that. Oh my god. He... <laughs> he walked up to the Earth Spirit, used Omni Slash, Earth Spirit just rolled away. Nice. And now he's gonna roll away again. TP? I'm no, fucking he's waiting. Prodding, man. Oh my god. We're waiting, we're waiting. Oh, Roy right, is trapped. Bad, I think. This is a slow. Nice. TP is ready. Broading starting to spin nice. and he finally dies. They do bring him down. Oh man, fucking frauding. Drops off me slash on everyone. It's nice to have perseverance early on Juggernaut because the mana regen is good. Looks like we've got a fight mid, but Ali is committed to both of his clones. Sonic Wave up in one second. Here's the Sonic Wave and there is the kill. Goodbye, Oliver. So it turns out Queen of Pain actually done quite well against Dark Warden. And now he blinks away. Oh, he's got to be careful to feed his clone, that's a lot of gold. Oh, Doijalicious actually gets another kill, how does that happen? He finds a kill on Juju, also ends the King's Spear, then Ollie, he finds a kill on Super Noob, what is going on? But nah, he's going in, looking for a kill on Royce. Royce doesn't have roll, three seconds. But he's a very tanky hero, strength gain of 4.4. Even at level 6, he's got 1,100 HP. One before Tranquils. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, mid? Is he dead? Nah. Or maybe. Nah. Oh, he is taking a lot of damage. Quop should win much oh, harder maybe? than Sarkboard. Maybe? Oh, Brex. Oh. <laughs> Good positioning from Brex. And he finds a bounty rune. How did he end up being there? No, I'm not dead. I'm alive. I just didn't think the stream wanted to hear me blow my nose. All right, I've seen the Thunder Strike Max build. Oh, he actually gets it! Wow, that was really good spacing on the arena. He knew it was just in range. Chasing on Doi Delicious. He's got not got mana. We're not going to kill him. What is his build on Disruptor, man? Uh, we're going to find out what Dan's done. Yeah, what's wrong with that? Oh, he's got two. Never mind, two points kinetic field. I didn't see this like a point Thunder Strike Max or you go Glimpse Max. Yeah. What is this? Two points get two one two Disruptor. Oh, I love it. Yeah, Nat's doing really well. I mean, he did die a couple times as well. So it's oh, not like shit. he's dominating. Someone's but... fucking dead here. Someone's dead to this I don't spot. know where to look. There's just fights everywhere. Okay, we're trying to go on Deutsch Delicious, but whoa, you need to be careful, Juju. I think Deutsch might get the kill. Use one to get mana. He's got Reaper Scythe in four seconds. Three seconds. Two seconds. One Here. second. But he ran away. Oh my Salve god. Salve instantly George. countered by a Brex auto attack. Mid lane, Nat is just waiting. And Nat goes in on Oli. Is Oli going to pop his ult? No, he doesn't have it. Doing a lot of damage to Nat. Nat's the blink away. Noodles, he's like, I popped my ult on you. Midnight, he represses the attack on himself. The silence onto Nat. There goes the taunt. Oh That's going to be god, another man. kill for the Dire. Midnight going to pick up his first 10 damage. See, Oli enjoys the kill. If he just presses his Sonic Wave, he's dead there. Well, he didn't get it off. Oh, out comes a macro pie. It's not yeah, quite going to kill He does a lot of damage. Though, Brex, he finds the swap onto Gabe. And now Midnight's going to run in. Cool. Just uses a bit of map. Press fine. the attack. One more auto. And another swap. Nice play from Brex. I feel like maybe max overwhelming odds would have been better than using press the attack on yourself. But it doesn't matter. They found the kill. Oh, man. Ollie was so fucking dead there. There's not been a lot of farm There's this game. Like, no hero has farm. We've got a lot of kills, but we've got no farm. Because everyone is fighting. It's 10 for 10. How almost exactly is... the same net worth. How is a Necroboss boss the most farm? Well, he's hero? got three kills, and he's had a bit of solo XP. No, GG. he has the most last hits, man. Well, that's because no one has any last hits. I mean, Jug has 27 denies, but it doesn't have many last hits. Roy just uh, turned up. All he but... has 60 last hits, 9 denies. Oh, uh, that just changed right now, but uh... he had 60 last hits and 9 denies. 69. Perfect number. Brex gets tilted by the tips, even though he tips. That's a bit Is he? Because he got a kill. Okay, mister, you can press R. Come on, Brex. I mean, if you're going to tip people, then you shouldn't be salty about people tipping you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, getting a kill, it's good. 
You need to kill supports in the early game. That's what, that's what mid players are supposed to be doing, right? Killing supports because they're easy kills and you need gold. Oh, we have committed everything. Look at the Macropire, the Disruptor, the Arena. Is it still not enough to kill Necropos? No, it isn't. He's got a mech already. Gets the Reaper Scythe. Oh, no. He's going to secure a kill. Now he's going to out-regen. Gabe is dead too. Do I do this? just actually lives because they don't quite do the static song correctly. Never mind Nat's here. But he has to go back. Yeah, he he gets swapped point. in. Gets stunned. They get a dual damage. Oh, and now there's a stun from Royds. That is a, almost a full team wipe. They brought all five Dire Heroes here. We got a Reaper Scythe kill. So someone's respawning for ages. We got a dual win. I mean, this is a perfect they, fight. They misplayed it again. Fuck. He speared him out of the... The static storm. Role. Yeah, yeah. They should have... Um, they should have cast the arena a little bit further back. Yeah. So that it, he's like, just Look at the it. fucking damage. Max damage per second. 200 damage per second. I don't know how long there. it takes to get that. It's pretty insane. I'll take that as yeah, it, it is a lot of damage, though. It is a lot of damage. Oh, man. Fucking Radiant lost. <laughs> Radiant lost. No, they haven't lost. Radiant are still doing pretty do they, well. Do they have a jug? Battle Fury yet? Alright, they have Battle Fury. Yeah, they have Battle Fury, yeah, yeah. So, you know, he's gonna be farming pretty well. I mean, no one is farming at any reasonable rate. We're 15 minutes in, no one's even at 100 last hit. So, Juggernaut wait, 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 will wait, 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 basically wait, wait. accelerate this farm. Is Midnight going? Oh, he is going blink. He does have a blink. He's got Go a blink. fucking smoke, smoke, smoke. Juju? He's just sitting on the low ground. They know he's there. So... He still blinks in. He waits, misses the spear. Oh, Liat, just drop your ult, brother. There it is. But he's kind of gets swapped out by Brex. Good play from Brex. They have no spear for Brex. So Brex doesn't take any damage from the ult at all. And just walks away. Okay, gets brought back by Disruptor. Brex is still alive here. Dodge this with the mech. Keeping Brex alive and another heal. They, don't, they cannot kill Brex. They have so much heal on this team. And now there's a dual win. The Radiant are just not coordinating their spells <laughs> properly. Nice heals um, from Necro though. How much does it heal? 120 plus you've got... He's now got a full Guardian Groove. So that's a 300 heal. Oh, he's pretty farmed. Well, reasonably farmed. It's very sad for the Radiant. Tragic, man. Very yeah, it tragic. Is, uh, it's very tragic. They can't just convert anything into a kill. Arc Warden, free farming entire time. Iconic Duo, Ross 2, plus 25 minutes. <laughs> That's true. I mean, look at this shit, man. This, this spirit is going to have a view soon. He's not going to die. Also, yeah. did you know the most famous build, the most big brain build on Jakiro is going 1-4-1? One one. What is this? What is this build? 204? <laughs> is that what you do on Jakiro? You get max rank liquid no, fire? You need to go. Uh, it doesn't matter what you go on 1 and 3 on Q and E, but you need to get max ice path. Well, I don't like max ice path first. I feel like you want to max the Q first. But then ice path can go second. But like, do you ever max liquid fire? Is that if you're pushing so nah. aggressively, maybe? If, but you're, like... if you're playing mid, then you go. Oh, fine. <laughs> liquid fire. <laughs> But, yeah, I just feel like that's, that's uh, just an odd way to play Jakiro. Yeah, I like one point in Ice Path, because it is a one Gabe second stun. Gabe doesn't play a lot of heroes, so... Well, it's an interesting play. 2-4-1, I mm. guess, if you're having a bad early game, and you need to get stun up as soon as possible. Who are they saving DD for? Matt? Um, yeah, I think so. Makes sense to give it to oh, Cobb. He's actually man. got the 20 damage. They smoke! Is that literally in front of Dire Vision? I think the Dire saw that. They, they have fucking Grove Bow for our Warden and nice. Ventral. Oh, that is nice some range. Oh, Bliat. What is going on? This game this is, is a big, big, big Bliat. It is a big Bliat. Why are you going on the hill, that reader? Oh, well, it's got the sentry. And he connects with Super Nose. Kick him. Or kicks a remnant into him. Wow, dropping the ult. Bit no, of a waste good, of disruptor. It's not a very long cooldown, that's it's only good. 90 seconds. He prevented a duel. That's good. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, true, 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 true. Button equals press. press. The glyph. No Can duel damage. Glyph yeah, for radiant? Well, I can. No, you can't. 
Look at oh, the TP's top. Awful. Immediately TP every hit. Roy just instantly rolls in. He's not going to find Nat. In fact, he does get the silence onto Nat. But he's not going to get anything else than that. He's right clicking Roy. Oh, Nat, staying here is going to cost you your life. Do you have the ult for Nat? No, we don't. Sonic Wave is pretty much wasted. I mean, he's got a very long cooldown, over two minutes. And Doi Delicious, not only does he find another kill, but he sends uh, Mars back to the base for 50 seconds. Dude, Midnight is actually making me very proud. Uh, good. I'm glad. I'm too totally happy to hear that. He's already like, got 50 jewel damage. This uh, drug can get as farmed as he wants, right? But it won't matter because he's going to blade mill duel and there's nothing to save him. True. Blade mill duel very good against jug. Because you attack through the spin anyway. Like There's nothing jug can do unless he ults instantly onto you. That's what you've got to yeah. be careful of if he's got good reactions and he ults. Oh, Midnight, Blink he's been brought back. Oh, Blink. Blink as well. No, you've got Brex ready to swap if you need it. It's fine. Oh, here comes Ollie. Okay. And Ollie. Ollie and Ollie. He's gone Midas, so he's got double Midas. He's almost got Mjolnir. So he is on top of the net worth. Dyer have a fairly commanding net worth lead. 6,000 gold. Yep. Really just chilling on the bob lane, taking the farm that no one's taking. Big brain plays. Well, Royds is big brain. He's actually played this, uh, this um, Earth Spirit pretty well. He had a bit of a rough start in the very, very early game, like first five, six minutes, and now he's started to do quite well. Yeah. It's fun, though, because unless you have some super aggressive hero with you in lane, then it's hard to play Earth Spirit. You just kind of have to sit there and watch. Yeah, it is a little bit difficult. But he has so much strength. Oh, this Jog is dead. Jog is fucking dead. No, he's Doug not. He's run. He's gone. No, never mind. Dude, he's so dead. He's I, so dead. I don't think he's dead. See? He's, he's going to get fucking dueled, man. He's going to get dueled. He's got no TP. Okay, he's dead. Roll in, right? Blink. Okay. Pop the blade mail. That's a... L okay, now just hold him. Oh, no. Wait. Do you have the damage? The tower's going to kill him. Oh. Who got that? I think Legion got it. Oh, Legion just. got it. Legion got it. Just. Legion got it. Yeah. And the courier died. Okay, Legion just got the dual damage, but then Juggernaut got a kill and 716 gold, so... Yo, can I talk to players? No. Or is that BM? What, what are you going to say? <laughs> I want to praise Midnight for being baldy. Um, we can do that at the end. Alright, fine. Sometimes we talk to players on, on certain occasions. But, like, yeah, praising a player in the middle of a game uh, kind of tilts the enemy team. True. Good, good. Oh, Noodles, the slow from the double flux. I think the fluxes do stack. I'm pretty sure they do. Yeah, they do stack. The yeah. slow stack, the damage stacks. It's just as soon as he wasn't next to anyone, he just instantly died. <laughs> Ollie finds the tower as well. Ollie's level 16 on the Arc Gordon. He's pretty strong. 614. They're like, thanks for the extra 240 gold, though. Never mind, it times out because Ollie knew what he was doing. Storage fucking biggest ball. He's going second item Lotus Orb. Great item. Good I know choice. you love. I know I'm you love it. Very happy about it. It's that. nice against when you've uh, heroes where there's a lot to dispel, so you can protect yourself from Omni Slash. You can remove all of Jakiro's crap. You can remove um, Disruptor, Quops, Shadow crap. Strike. You can remove yeah, remove Quops some Shadow Strike. It's it's a good item this game, and it gives you ten armor, which is always nice against Jug and um, Mars. So Mars, sure. yeah. interesting use Perfect of Macropire. Well, oh, Macropire lasts a long time. It might kill that wave as well. Whoa, we're going in on Juju. We've got the Flux him, so no blink. Swap him in. Use the stun. Nice use for Arena. It's protecting you from Ollie completely. Out comes the stun from Gabe. But Mars is still pretty low. Frauding's in the action, though. Royds, I think he's going to be able to go in. There goes the duel. Midnight finds it. Easy kill onto Juju. Royds, so he's got to be careful. Taking quite a lot of damage. He's going to roll himself out. Actually, he ends up being glimpsed back into Super Noodles. Out comes the Sonic Wave. Is it enough to kill Royds? No, it isn't because we have Guardian Greaves. And now, Nat, he's going to have to go back. He's very low, being healed by Healing Wards. Nice slow from Gabe. <laughs> Such a shit game to be disruptor, man. Fucking Mars spears your fucking enemies out. Props. Whoa, Royds, out. what are you doing? He actually just finds the Healing Ward. Then he gets the Yules. Instantly uses the he's dead. silence. Oh, he's but then silence. actually he doesn't. Okay, I mean, he had a remnant, right? I saw it. Yeah. Okay. If he silenced. I thought that was a huge play from Royds. But I don't know why he didn't silence. I think he maybe just like misclicked or something. We've got Lotus Orb coming up from Roids as well, so we're gonna have two Lotus Orbs. <laughs> oh, look at this fucking big brain build from Ollie. He's going E Blade, second item. Is he? Oh, wow. Dude, it's so big brain. Holy shit. How is this guy so good? <laughs> Ollie's got a new, uh, new fan. 
Oh no, this might not be good. Right, well, okay, Oli, go Scepter. Go Scepter, but Oli's gonna go down. And Oli's gonna feed his illusion oh as well. God, I mean, that's not what ideal. <sighs> worst player I've ever seen, Oli. Art Corden Bottler, no travels, five heads. <laughs> yeah, so Bilal might be a, a fan, but now we've, we've changed our mind instantly. Yep, no. Bad player. Yeah, why didn't he go travels? He's pretty fun, and he's got Midas. Uh, he just wants to, uh. He, wants, he just wants to be farming until he has, like, two more items. So you don't need bots yet, I think. Arc Warden is a cursed hero. I mean, Ollie's done really well in the early game. That was a good play from the Radiant. They saw Ollie was up uh, position. They just went straight onto yeah. him. Yeah. And now <laughs> they're going to take some bounties. In every single lane, Ollie was right here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you, it's, you need to play with the um, lack of information. Oh, Roids, yeah. you are very, very surrounded, my friend. Oh, we dropped the ult in him. Yeah, blinks in. And you're down. Okay, Dyer no, no, throwing no, no, a little bit. Thing. Whoa, oh, Midnight, he just run in. He's like, yeah, thanks for the damage. See you later. It, can he get out, though? Doesn't that press he's the fine, attack? He's, he's slow. He's like now Ollie's here, doing a lot of damage. Yeah. All right, no swap needed. No swap. Ollie's still chasing. Double flux, but they're standing together. They know where it's at. Why Midnight, I think he's just going to go in again. Oh, okay, he doesn't quite blink the right direction. Healing Ward's going to keep him alive. So they just get one kill from that, but it's permanent damage for Midnight, so that's good. And we talked about this, didn't Dude. we? If Midnight can get enough damage to be a threat by himself, it's really hard for the Radiant. This uh, fucking Necroflast is going uh, Bloodstone. How is he going to die? Bloodstone? That's a really interesting set of items. He went Guardian Greaves, Lotus Orb into Bloodstone. What, why do you go Bloodstone on a Necrophos? I mean, magic resist 10%, I guess? Against... Mostly for the heal. A lot of mana? I guess you can the... he oh, heal and Ghost Shroud. Do they have a... He's playing against no Spirit Vessel. So... No Spirit Vessel, no Shivers. Oh, no, Not Gabe. Is there a swap? They've used the Spear, yeah, but didn't get so the real Ollie, though. They don't know... They know which is the real Ollie, but they're not going on him. Do we have Omni Slash? We do have Omni Slash. Are we going to commit oh it? God, yes, we do. I mean, Ollie's he's just TP'd out. But Brex, he's gone down. Deutsch Delicious, he's now struggling. Gets the ult. Okay, he's going to be healing up a little bit. Lotus Orb, heal as well. There's no way he lives here, right? Ghost Shroud, never mind. He's, he's actually going to kill Gabe. Gabe's going to die to Brex's illusion. No, kills the healing ward. No, I think Brex is going to be okay. Deutsch Delicious runs back in and he's got to make up his mind. I mean, all they Dude. lost was Brex. And Joy Delicious, he just walks away. They they fucking they fucking went on that top. Nat used his ten second BKB, but still got dueled. Oh that. no, that's tragic. That is tragic. And now we're gonna take Roche. 130 damage already. I mean, what level is Midnight? He is joint highest level oh, in the he, game. In fact, he the has his really own close. BKB now. Does he? Ah, oh, fucking love Midnight, man. Such a good player, this guy. I mean. He's pretty good for a Crusader, we'll give him that. I mean, he plays way yeah. above his rank. And Bilal He's loves everyone. The best at well, easy Roche for the die. He's already got the E Blade, yeah. Yep, yeah. full E Blade. Give it to Doji. Doji, take it. Not Ollie. He's not gonna fucking die. Well, he does die. You know Ollie. Yeah, but if Doji takes it, then no one dies. Take them like two minutes to kill another Necrophos. Oh, Roids. Oh my God, Love to Roy's roll in. He's, give a fuck. he's got Yules. He's already used it. Silence and slow. Oh, look at this build, man. He's going second item Lotus Orb. Yeah. Dude, Two Lotus I Orbs. did this. I literally invented the Lotus Orb. I love item. Lotus Orb too, man. Such a good item. Yeah, we don't know why he doesn't have belts. Ollie just with brown boots. He's like, yeah, screw movement speed. Whoa, we find Frauding and we immediately duel him. They pop a lot of stuff in him, but I think he's still going to die. Yes, he does. Midnight, pretty low. Out, use the arena. We've used Sonic, Sonic Wave as well. But I think Royce is going to live. Yeah, Yules and um, Lotus Orb from Deutsch. This is just keeping him alive. Midnight got very, very low, nearly died. But he didn't. And he found the duel on the jug. So really good. 30 more bonus damage. The fight is still going on. We swapped Ollie, keeping him safe. Wow, look at the surround they got on Juju. And he goes straight down. Also, they managed to find Super Noodles. Great team fight from the Dyer. I think. I think Nat should have gone. Well, you can evade tower hits with them. Um, magnetic field. Yeah, you can. Well, that's pretty ridiculous. Ollie's now you, got his clone. Did you know? Uh, did you know you can life steal off of towers with Moment of Courage? 
Really? You can't life stealth towers anything else. Yes, you can do. <laughs> you can. But not with normal it's so attacks. Fucking stupid. Like normal life steal. You no, can't satanic attack. attack. Well, no, weird. no, not satanic. But Moment of courage. Moment of courage. It works on towers. Oh, that's weird. Well, they've it's taken so melee racks, but they're still two tier two towers up, so they can't take anything else. Look oh, at midnight. midnight. He's basically oh. in the base. Oh. And there you go. This guy. Oh my god. A hundred. No, you can't tip him. He just BKBs. Oh, oh and the BKB. He's, he's the yes, he does. He knows he has oh. to. Brex, he does a swap. Trying to keep Ollie alive. I mean, Ollie's still got Aegis. Brex might go down, but he's still keeping his aura up. Never mind. He's gone down to the Omni Slash. Roy's, he's unfortunately going to fall. Doesn't matter. Doesn't Ollie's matter. basically Ollie, forgotten how to micro. Okay. And now he TPs. Glimpse, Spear. Ollie's going to go down. Not ideal there. Yeah. Ollie's still got his clone, though. He might actually kill Nat. He does kill him with the E Blade. Oh, the illusion E blades, so good. And now midnight gives Ollie the heal. Kill the healing ward. No, don't kill the healing ward. Oh man, that E blade kill on that. That's just blink straight in. We've still got Reaper's scythe. You gotta be careful. Omni slash is on cooldown. Do they really want to be running in? And midnight. Okay, doesn't find the target. Ends up dueling an illusion. Unfortunate play from midnight. It's all gone so well up to that point. But maybe it's the bait they need. Doy delicious is stunned. He does have guardian greaves. Is he going to get it off? Yes, he is. Nice Sonic Wave. That's a lot of damage. Ollie using his E-Blade. Doesn't quite kill Noodles. Yes, he does. I think Doi Delicious might go down. Finds a kill on that. Now he's healing a lot. Oh, Midnight dude, is here. Jewel down. doesn't have it, but he's got the heal. Oh, that is a long time to be dead. That's a buyback and a Reaper Scythe. Whoa. Now they're going to lose. Let me take a look at levels real quick. Yeah, let's do that. It's pretty even, oh. to be honest. I mean, all right, listen, right? They have a telescope. They have mm -hmm. Benjara. They have uh, got a telescope as Grifo. well. Whoa. Wow. I mean, that's already. Venge just walking around is giving 250 range, right? And then Ollie's also Ollie got should, the Enchanted Quiver. Ollie should get rid of this item. Get the Growth Bow. Enchanted Quiver is quite good because both you and your illusion are doing 300 magic damage on hit. Yeah, but uh, with the Growth Bow, you can, you know, stack damage on these things. On your flock, yeah, it's true. Ghost spark rates, and you get Omega fucking Nat attack. is really struggling this game. BKB Yule, so two very defensive co op items, and really not got the goal to get anything else. And now going for Lincolns, like only building defensive items on co op. Nah, man, let you it's in the just game. their heroes are just fucking don't go well together. Yeah, the synergy is a little bit off. They've got lots of really good team fight, but none of it kind of combines. Yeah. I do agree, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Ollie's now got Satanic already. Still doesn't want Boots of Travel because he's decided that item's for losers. So it's like really hard for Radiant to take and win fights. Cause oh, look at items. Roids. He has found Gabe. Such a long range. Gets another stun. How low cooldown is that stun? Four seconds. Midnight, he's Three like, seconds. thanks my jewel. Oh, yours into four. yours. Oh, nice ult from Noodles. But unfortunately, it's not enough to save his teammate. It's a... Uh... It's three seconds, I think, because your the shit starts ticking down as soon as you start rolling. Like oh, it blinks in again. Okay, get spear back. He's got double damage on them. The Legion Command, 190 bonus damage, and he's got a greater fairy fire. Oh, he's going Abyssal Roy, Blade. Yeah, Roy's just rolling. He doesn't care. He can do what he wants, really. He's, he's just killing, pretty much. He's fucking killing. I mean, Midnight is so world strong. World. Forget top net worth on Ollie and more net worth on Necro. Legion is where it's at. 190 bonus damage. Greater Fairy Fire. Now going for Abyssal Blade Legion. I mean, maybe she just had a little bit more attack speed. I guess you get it from press the attack. And here we go. Nope. Doesn't quite find it. Radiant team, they're playing really safe. I think Midnight's going to be okay. There is always a Lotus Orb if he needs it. Yeah, he's going to be fine. Yeah, he is. But now you've Even got to push against. Him, oh, look at look at this. It's the Brex. It's going to happen, isn't it? Brex is going to swap someone to Spark Wraith and one shot them. Ready? There you go. Instantly killed Frauding. Out comes the arena. It's on four heroes. Frauding had to immediately buy back. They found a jewel, but it's on Mars, and the arena's in the way. So that jewel's not going to do anything. There's a lot of damage coming out from Omni Slash. Oh, this is huge. Radiant are actually finally finding some kills. Roids, I think he's going to go down. Reaper Scythe doesn't even find Juju. Roids, he's trying to get a kill into Noodles. Doesn't quite find the kill. No, he d oh, actually, there was a reflect on the Thunderstrike that will bring him down. Now, Frauding is running straight into Doi Delicious. Instantly kills the Healing Ward. This is good for the Radiant. Nat, he's going to find right. Brex. Brex uses the stun, though, but I think he's still going to go down. Glimmer Cape? Glimmer TP. Very nice play. But now, Doi Delicious. I don't know if they have the means to kill him. They probably do. 
He reflects the Shadow Strike. In fact, I don't think they can kill him. I literally don't think they can with the Ghost Shroud uh, and the Bloodstone. He's got Guardian Grooves up again. He's going to get yet another kill, I think. He might actually kill he's Gabe. Dead. Yeah, he's dead. he is. And he's fine. I think you're going to kill Jug too. I mean, he's got Ghost Shroud again. Yeah, there it is. Frauding's dead. Frauding's legit dead. Never mind. Juju's there. They, they can't bring him down. All right. Oh, my God. I mean, this was a nice play, but what the fuck was that after it? Why did they all run up the high ground? Well, I mean, the, the insta-kill on Frauding was good, but then, yeah, they, they got trapped in a four-man arena. Out came the Macropire, out came Sonic Wave. Yeah, he he instantly bought back, too. It's not like he waited a bit, you know? He can yeah, be yeah, caught yeah, off yeah. guard by that. So they didn't even Come on, bro. touch the tower. The game was fucking over, man. I could have been in bed by now. I know it's pretty late for you. Oh, shit. What is this uh, build, actually, from Ollie? Where's Ollie? Um, Ark Warden. He's going satanic. Yeah, man. he did. I did call that a sad to satanic, but he's got it even before travels. He's still not going travels. He's now going Daedalus. <laughs> so he's playing like full right click, Ollie. He had satanic in the Very last fight, though. but it didn't keep him alive. They just need to put this neck wall like up here. And he just hits from low ground. Yeah. Necro is nearly level 25, so you can get either low Death Pulse cooldown or even stronger Heartstopper Aura. Are there anyone else nearly level 25? Away. No, not really. Oh, wow. Roids is doing a lot to frauding, but you've got to be careful. Frauding loves to press R. Wow, we've actually dropped the Static Storm. Dude just gone in, popped the arena. They're being patient, but Ollie, he's in position to do a lot of damage. Never mind, he can't go through the arena. Brex, nice swap to save Roids. But you're going to go down. I think Roids is going to go down too. Never mind, he finds the roll. Doing a lot of damage to Nat. Nice silence used by Royce. Kicks him as well. He's actually going in, but he's going to die from the dots. This is not good for Ollie. Midnight, though, he found a kill. Now he's running in with 220 damage. He's just going to right click. Out comes the great Omni Slash. Ollie keeping himself alive. But he's going to die from the magic damage. And now Midnight's going to go down too. Well, I can't see any way of him surviving. And yeah. Wow, that's not a good situation for the die. They are so far ahead this game. And yet Radiant basically got a full wipe on him. My voice stopped working for a bit there, but I mean, I mean, they fucking figured it out. Just ignore the necropause. Three thousand gold for the radiant and minus six hundred seventy-eight. They got ten thousand experience from one fight. I mean, that's pretty huge for the radiant. That's exactly what they're looking for. Pops uh, nearly got boy, Lincoln's oh now. One mistake and you. In well, the they're still far ahead in net worth, right? Like, they're still about 20,000 gold net worth. So that that was still a long way from saying, oh, okay, now Radiant are in the lead. But what they've done is they've proved that they can win a team fight even when they're this far behind. And now they've picked yeah, up some yeah. key items. So you've got Lincoln's on Quop, you've got um, Abyssal Blade on Juggernaut. Uh, you, the yeah, Abyssal Blade on Legion has been delayed even more. It's not morning already. What time, is it the, what time is it in the poll now? It is 3 a.m. almost. Yeah, it's only 3 a.m. Yeah, it's fine. I usually sleep at 4. Yeah, you, you play on UK time even though you're not from here. Yeah. Have a camera. Right, they need to they need to go as 5, keep this necro in front, and they win. Yeah, they need to keep the necro far in front. Because they cannot kill him. He's got 4,000 HP. He's found a Witless Shaco. He's still got 2,000 mana. With a Whitless Shaka. This is crazy. He's level 25. He's got more Heartstopper aura damage. So he just needs to exist. And the fight will win. When is Radiant going to buy Spirit Vessel? They're not buying Spirit Vessel. I mean, I, I like Spirit Vessel, but I always have this concern that it can just be dispelled. And when there's so many Lotus Orbs, like, is it ever worth it? Or is it still worth it even with all the dispels? It's, it's, still, it's still worth it. I mean, if you're playing against like, these heroes, like Necro and stuff... You, it's definitely worth it. Yeah, Necro's you know, Necro, not going to save I'll... his um, his guarding blues until it's used. Oh, frauding. We're rolling onto him. That perfect connect. We've got the silence. This has not spin. been used oh, yet. Wait, Manta, yeah. Roids, he goes in pretty slow. Gets speared to a tree. Midnight, he finds the jewel on the jug. Do they have the damage to kill him? No, I don't think they do. They've used him. Not, not sure why. Out comes the sonic wave. Midnight, BKB. Oh, he reflects oh, the jug on the slash. Oh, out comes the Reaper Scythe. But look, Delicious. is he going to die? Nope, he's fine. Ollie E-Blades him as well. Healing Ward. Royce is still in. 
And yes, he does manage to spin away. That's a great kill. Unfortunately, you don't have the damage to kill Frauding, but you did find a kill onto the Mars. And look at Juju. He's dead for 100 seconds. Now you've got plus three seconds of geoma geomagnetic grip silence. That is a long silence. Uh, 6.5 seconds up from 3.5. It's just crazy that time. If Ollie doesn't take that fucking growth ball, I'm going to be so mad, man. I don't think he wants it over the, um, the quiver. Which is, I don't know. He does have travels now, by the way. Don't worry, guys. He does have travels. Yeah, I like Quiver, to be honest. At least take the Ninja Gear. Yeah, Ninja Gear's pretty good. 20 Agi and some move speed. Right, time for the Radiant to attack. Ninja mode. Hunt for kills. Whoa, we go straight onto Nat. He has Lincoln's, but it was immediately broken. Okay, he's got Flicker as well. Do we have a Catapult Wave coming? No, we don't. No Catapult Wave coming yet. Oh, it's, it's all the way back in the base. But double catapult, that's going to be pretty strong if they can wait for it. Midnight, he's All looking right, for a for kill. For the love of God, please fucking sit back on Ollie. Look what Ollie's doing. It's the uh, same they're, strategy. They're trying to do the same shit again. Let's see if they fuck up again. Ollie's just walked that's his turn up to the high ground. Do. He's like, whatever. I just want to see if they Rex, fuck up again. Rex, he's looking, he's looking. Yep, almost one shot's frauding. Abyssal blades himself out. Nice static storm. It catches Royd and Brex, but I think it's not enough. Midnight, he just walks forwards. Okay, his duel went straight into the Lincolns. Didn't realize it was the Lincolns on Quap. But they've not lost anyone and they've killed Frauding. So it's still worth it, right? He can't instantly buy, but this time they've used the glyph. Now comes the double catapult wave. I think this is uh, this is dead tower. Yep. Yep, cock. Yep, double catapult, ready to go. They're stacking the Wraith Bands, uh, the, not the Wraith Bands, what the hell am I saying? The stati uh, Static Wraiths oh, again. Dude. Imagine this fucking... Roids has uh, gone in. Legion getting 25 with the AoE dispel. Oh, Whoa, a nice crazy. arena. It catches three people, but Juju, he's on the outside. Sonic Wave goes in. This is a lot of damage. Rex is going to fall down. I think Roids going to die too. Roy Delicious though, he's fine. Midnight. Actually, he's not going to die. They find a kill on Juju. Another Reaper Scythe. He's dead for yet another 110 seconds. Roids manages somehow not to die. I can't even see him on my screen. He's right at the bottom. Roids, he does die. But they're going to kill Nats. Oh, frauding. Nice. Use oh, of the Lotus battle. Orb. Anime battle. So no damage at all from the Omni Slash. Midnight, 250 dual damage. There was a buyback from Nat. Is it going to be enough, though? Ollie, he oh, might lose his boy. code, but his main hero is alive. Midnight is low, being healed up. He's got the BKB. He's going to instantly pop it. He's on 70 HP. He dies to a right click from the Queen of Pain. Now Doja Delicious on the run, but we know what happens when you try to chase him. Ollie, he's just going to TP out. I mean, they've taken Don't your rack, it, so it's fine. Don't do it. Don't do it. I mean, he's got he's got the Lotus Orb. He's got the Ghost Shroud. Oh, he's been crowd controlled. Do they have a Princess Knife? I think they might do. Bloodstone. He's just going to TP out. No, there goes the fear from the Queen of Pain. And they're finally going to bring him down. A 10 times kill streak ended. Super Noodle's got the kill, which is unfortunate. He's actually already got Aghanims. I didn't even realize. That's a really good item. But, I mean, after all that, yes, the Radiant did get some gold from it, from um, the kills. But they had to use two buybacks, and they lost their racks. So, it's it's still going well for the Dire. And long drawn out fights, exactly what Necro wants. Indeed. Is Legion 25 yet? Oh, she is. Why the fuck did you take dual damage bonus that night? Ah, Are the you meme. fucking kidding me? For the meme. Oh man, this AoE dispel is so good in this game. We're pretty bad at taking high bonus, that is true. Midnight, if you watch this VOD, I am very fucking disappointed in that choice. Don't listen to him, man. Like. Oh, mad lad, man. He it's all the Anakin. Got his abyssal blade. Did he buy his abyssal blade? He just lost his buyback. Oh, there's abyssal blade. Oh, he yeah, yep, yep, cock. Right. So, Oli now has a monkey king bar. So he's got quite a lot of damage. He did take the ninja gear. Doesn't actually have high base damage. He's only hitting for about, what, 260 ish? Oh shit, dude. Frauding is going balls deep. He's buying the fucking Rapier. Well, he's gonna buy the Rapier when he has the gold. Rapier. Uh, but he's just gonna die instantly to a Spark Wraith stack. And Ollie can take the Spark yeah. Wraith talent. He did. 250 How he... Spark Wraith damage. How is he dying to that, actually? Can he not just instantly spin? You can, but he maybe doesn't react in time. 
I mean, it's pretty mm. instant. Like, Brex swaps you and all the spark crates are right on top of Brex's body. And now it's 250 damage, so the spark crates are hitting, what, 500, damage each? Oh, no, Ollie. Yeah, okay, it's only his clone. Oh, no, there's the real Ollie. Do they know he's there? Let's have a look at the radiant <laughs> vision. They haven't they saw seen him. They saw him. They saw him there. Okay. They saw him there. Oh, no, they've seen him again. He's on the map, but the Dara nearby. Nah, don't fight this. Get, get mm. the fuck out. Don't they fight. have to. They have to. Oh my god, dude. Legion has 250 dual damage. Yeah, they are destroying 500. That. But they're in smoke. It's going to be a fight. Is. It's going to kill off. They've muted them all. And now they're stuck in the arena. They can't use any of their items at all. Nice swap out from Brex. But look at the army. It's doing a lot of damage. There's already two kills. They killed Ollie and Brex. Royds is on the run. This is a really good fight for the <laughs> The nice Sonic Wave. Royds is actually going to stay alive. Oh. Uses um, Yules to try and keep himself alive. Nah, he's going to chase Royds. Nice reflect, Wait, but I think Royds is still going to go left. down. Oh, and we found Midnight as well. And Doidelicious, he is on the run. Who took the Aegis? It was taken by Frauding. So, in fact, the Radiant also got the Aegis. Oh, dear. This is not good. All right, so let's recap dire. to that part where you said Dire did lose a fight, but they are not losing. Well, we're going to watch the replay of this fight now. Let's see what we can get. We immediately, Static Storm into the arena. It does so look much at, damage. Look at Deutsch. Look at Doge in that fight. Yeah, they just ignore him. They've already killed the entire yeah. team. Doesn't matter at that point. Uh, Frauding changes his mind. He doesn't want to go ball to deep anymore. Oh yeah, Juggernaut's got 60 jewel damage. <laughs> oh dear, yeah. you give it a, good, that's a good lot of talent, damage. Isn't it? Oh, a fucking good talent, that's isn't true. It? Since he picked up the talent, he's done nothing but give 60 damage to a Juggernaut. That is a lot of damage to give a Buzz one. That's why you don't take that fucking talent, man. It's oh, so bad. dear. This is a throw if I've ever seen one. They've had to use two buybacks. They've lost their tier 3, but actually they're going to hold. I mean, they still have a net worth bleed, but it is very, very... Wait, I thought it was very slight, but according to my graph, it's still about, you know... 17,000? It says 6k up there, no, so no, no. I don't know what to believe. It's uh, the graph update slower. Oh, the graph, yeah, the graph is taking some time. It's now 83k gold. Yeah, now it looks about 7k, 8k. <laughs> Dude, so he's been wanting to buy this axe for like 30 minutes. He still doesn't have it. Who's trying to buy axe? Doge. Oh, right, yeah. He's had that point booster for like 20 minutes. He's so close. Haste. Bench going ags, so when he swaps, he fears people. I've like never seen oh, that in this, use. How long is the fear? The Shiva seconds? guard from that is gonna be so good, but he went for a hex instead. Yeah, that they do need anti healing because there's so much healing on the enemy team. But uh, hex is also a good item, I guess. So fair enough. Jug is a butterfly. Probably shouldn't have gone that. I would have gone Scotty. Yes, again, we need the anti-healing because there's just so much. You've got Legion Commander, you've got Necrophos, you've got um, Guardian Greaves up as well. Yeah, uh, Ollie also has his Hex. But Juggernaut was pretty farmed. Look, you know, Nat was at 10,000 net worth for quite a while. was really under farm. Now he's managed to pick up Lincolns and a Scythe. So, and he's oh, level 27. On, Necro is going for Octarine. He should buy something aggressive. Yeah, because they are ignoring him. I mean, he could have even gone a radius yeah. skin. Ollie just running his illusion in. Or his uh, his double. Gets glimpsed out. Uh, fucking Ollie has Dan scythe Reader's as well, actually. Is... Ollie has scythe. Okay. Dan Reader is carrying this game. Yeah, that was a really good ult. And he's got a gem as well. And an ether lens. And he's got the cast range hey, talent. You know, why, you know why he has a gem? Because he never buys sentries. But he's also got the kinetic field grants true side. Do you really need a gem as well? I guess maybe it's not bad. It's, the thunder strike three hits is not really that strong. And you I guess a gem is still good. It. You do need the gem. Yeah. Because what if your spell are on cooldown? It's true. You better. At this point in the game, yeah, you're right. I mean, what's he going to get next? Kinetic field duration plus three seconds could be pretty good. Yeah, that is pretty good. That's a very long kinetic field. 7.4 seconds. Dagon 5 Necro. Yeah, it's a meme, but it works. Take on five necro, it's fucking amazing. If you farmed. Which yeah. he definitely was at this point. He, is. he should have just gone for big on instead of Agonim, I think. Yeah, I, Agonim's I kind of get, right? They smoked inside the base. They know that they're pretty strong now. They've shown the ability to win fights. Staring at the dire heroes here. Oh, they're you know gonna what? collide, they're the... gonna collide. 
We've seen Midnight immediately use the ult, but he just walks out of the oh, arena. Oh, Midnight. does not work. God. Midnight just walking. Now he's turning around. Look, he's got Blink. He's got Abyssal. He's thinking about it. Roids goes in, but it's nothing going to connect. No, what did he do? You right click outside of the pit. Very good player. Well, there we go. You know, they... most people wouldn't have done that because they would panic. <laughs> this is the time to push, right? Player. There's no static storm yep. and there's no arena blood. It's only a 30 second window, so you've got to do it pretty quick. But it doesn't look like they're really trying to force it. See, what you do is you put a ward down here. Oh, the spark creates a building. Shows, you swap them. The spark creates a building. They I mean, know. The you can one shot Juju. Juju, don't fucking sit here. Yeah. Oh, Ollie, he's pushing the tower. Okay, they've had to use Glyph. But the ults are nearly up. Arena of Blood up soon. Two seconds. Ten seconds. And we're also ready. I mean, this is the classic Arc Warden. Ready? Swap. Game. Oh, swap was used on that. Look at the cast range of that with the Ether Lens. Tell us if it was that range. What? That's pretty nutty. Do they know it's there? Do they die? I see it. Yeah, they can. They know Brex is yeah, there. They, They're like they, staring they at Brex. They've got to be they careful. Know, but they still keep going in the fucking area. Whoa. Play We've managed to find Midnight. Time. We've got Hex in. We've actually dropped the ult. Now Roids is in. Arena of Blood. Bad. Nice swap. Midnight is actually out. He gets Abyssal back in. And he's going to go down. They had to use buyback on Noodles, but I think it's worth it. Roids, he's now trapped in a very long ice path. Nice Hex. He's going to BKB away, though. Swap Grace didn't kill anyone. Ollie's illusion does manage to take out the tier 3 tower. Doi Delicious, he is now in trouble. He's trying to heal himself. Is he going to use Bloodstone to heal? Yes, he is. He's nearly on full HP. Brex doesn't have a swap. He's used both his swaps. This is just a massacre now. Radiant, they're just running in. Royce, he goes back in. Pops his ult. Gets a really big silence. Yules himself to stay alive. Stunned from Brex. I think it's too late. Doi Delicious, he's going to go down. Out comes the Omni Slash. Instantly gets double kill. Another one no fight. Nat, easy fear. And that right click goes like this. There's no buyback on, yeah, two of the heroes. I mean, that's a lot of damage going into their tower. So look at the double catapult. They're pinging the catapults. They've realized it's a priority. Nearly lost their tier four tower there. Yield it. Yeah, they should have CC'd it. And Ollie, he just sends the illusion in. Look, but frauding, he's chopping it down pretty quick. Uses Scythe and E-Blade. He should have used his one after the other. And maybe would have done a little bit more. Takes the range racks. Nice one, Ollie. Very cheeky. Now there's only the melee racks to go, but... Are they, radi are they radiant yeah. still behind in gold? I feel like by now they should be maybe ahead, but... Nah, they're 5k behind. Okay. It's pretty close now. This is a big comeback from All the right. guy. Frauding is doing it. He's fucking behind the rape here. Okay. That's a lot of damage. I mean, yeah, there it is. This is full committal now. Uh, and he walks right under a ward. Nice lap. Good. They know he's got it. Every hero in the game is level 25 in the radium. Uh, on the die, we're still waiting on a couple. So, I mean, those are some big, um, big upgrades. You know, you've got Jakira well, with Macropass spell immunity. Uh, oh, Ollie's illusion going down. I just heard a Abyssal Blade. What was that? Did he Abyssal a creep? He might have done. I'm not sure. Are we just going I for the win? No, we're not going for the win. So oh, I heard the BKB. It's popped. Go end, end. We're going for... Oh, no, that's going to be a kill. Legion is yeah. dead. 60 damage onto Super Noodles. Legion has to buy back. No oh, jewel ready for oh. 40 seconds. Oh, there my are. God, it's Miracle. Out comes TP from Royds. Royds get sent back to base. We've got the rapier. We're ready to go. Nice swap. There almost is the kill frauding. If they can kill frauding, this is huge because he's going to feed the rapier. Yeah, he fed the rapier. Okay. Right, and the net worth goes straight back to the diet. Now they have a rapier on Legion Commander who, you know, needed a bit more jewel damage. So 250 jewel damage now also has a rapier. So, hmm. They had a pretty good shot and now they uh, don't have buyback on Jug. Uh, right. That's a bit of a throw. Should have put the Lincolns on the other map. Yeah, this game's fucking over now. There's no way you can defend this. It's just a swap arc into the Arcwraith, um, Arc Warden, Spark Grace. It's just too much. Nice done from Roy. It's midnight, turn up. He's trying to get the jewel, but he just can't find him. There's the jewel. Okay, he'll take another so 60 damage. Finally on his own hero, not the enemy hero. He fed 120 jewel damage before he got any from that talent. I mean, Nat is trying to cut the wave, but every lane is pushing. Yeah. Final rack's gone. Now it is the Megas. One tier 4 tower about to go down. It's on 100 HP. Ollie, he's doing some big right clicks with his hero. 
Or not, I'd he's decided to I'd say this was a good cruise. game, but this has just been a fucking... This has been a good game. We have 95, no, 85 kills. Juju, he's going to go down. Nat, nice fear. I mean, if they can get a kill, this might be good. Ollie, he's doing a lot of damage now. Midnight, he just chops Noodles to death. And now it's finally going to be the GG call. 54 minutes into the game. There was a rapier throw. There was some this, uh, throwbacks, you know, back and forth. Yeah. Only reason I see this wasn't a good game is because I feel like we could have ended this 20 minutes ago. Yeah, I mean, this was, it was all over the place, but eventually Dyer still won. It was a pretty, pretty tough victory for them, though. They were so far ahead, and they still managed to, you know, lose like three Talking or four teams. Praises, praises to Radiant for trying very hard, almost bringing it back. Very well played. Oh, thank you, um, match coordinator. Yeah. Radiant played very well, though, the mid-late game. I can't show the final lobby stats because uh, the game is is kind of still going. Now the final lobby stats is just just imagine the graph going down and then suddenly it starts going up and then it yeah. goes down again. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Oh well, it was a really good game. There were loads of kills, and I like the team fighting. They were uh, great fun to watch. But unfortunately, feeding the rapier pretty quickly after buying it is uh, not uh, not a good idea when you're trying to win. Uh, I'm, I'm just imagining how it felt like to be swapped into 25 spark rigs five times, like five or four times it happened. He did start to spin, um, but it was just too late. He'd already tanked like most of the damage. So yeah, 